Greetings from Tokyo. My name is Daisuke Beppu. I hope all of you are doing well today. What I'd like to do, if you don't mind, is I'd like to share with you some of the non numbered box sets in the Criterion Collection. <laughs> So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you the non-numbered items of the Criterion Collection. Now, as you know, the Criterion Collection is comprised of primarily the spine-numbered DVDs and Blu-rays, starting from number one to now, which it's now July 2018, so now we are approximately in the 920s and 30s, etc. So that's quite a number of discs. but. Outside of that uh, spine-numbered group, we have a lot of non-numbered items, like non-numbered box sets, non-numbered uh, DVDs, etc. Primarily box sets, however. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you the ones that I have, and uh, hopefully that might start a discussion about the Criterion Collection. Um, so let's begin, shall we? So this is in no particular order. With that in mind, let me start with this. This is the Great Adaptations box set. Now this was a DVD box set release that included Great Expectations, Lord of the Flies, The Most Dangerous Game, and Oliver Twist. Excuse me. Sorry about the glare. I apologize. and the other side. Now this was, um, the top is like so, and therefore the bottom was open, which is where the DVDs came out. I just happen to have other DVDs here as sort of filler, but um, that's how the box operated. There we go, great adaptations. Next. The Rebel Samurai. So Rebel Samurai, 60s swordplay classics. Now this is also a DVD box set, which included Samurai Rebellion, Sword of the Beast, Samurai Spy, and Kill. And this is the top of the box. And again, the DVDs came out from the bottom. And I just happen to have some, some filler here. So, next, Akira Kurosawa, Four Samurai Classics. This was a DVD box set, which included Seven Samurai, The Hidden Fortress, Yojimbo, and Sanjiro. Again, here is the top of the box. Accordingly, the DVDs came out from the bottom. Now I happen to have some filler here. Next, Olivier's Shakespeare. This had uh, this was a DVD box set release for Henry V, Hamlet, and Richard III. And the top is right here. And therefore, the, the, the discs came out from the bottom. And I just have some, oops, I have some filler in there. Next, Wrong Men and Notorious Women, Five Hitchcock Thrillers, 
1935 to 1946. This had Rebecca, I'm sorry, this was a DVD set which had The 39 Steps, The Lady Vanishes, Rebecca, Spellbound, and Notorious. And there's the top. So the discs came out the bottom like so. And as you can see, I have some discs there for filler. Next, the Samurai Trilogy. Now this was the DVD box set release for the three samurai films, which is uh, Musashi Miyamoto, Duel at Ichijoji Temple, and Duel at Gandu Island. is right there. Unfortunately there's a sticker on my particular copy. I'm very scared to peel it off lest I damage it more so I leave it on like so. And the discs come out from the bottom and I do have the three DVDs of this release. You can tell because of the logo which is the line logo. These films were also released in a current Blu-ray with a Wacky C logo and also in DVDs with the black bar logo format which hopefully I will be showcasing in a later video where I show all of the Criterion Collection discs. Stay tuned for that. Next, Ingmar Bergman's Four Masterworks. Excuse me, Ingmar Bergman Four Masterworks. Excuse me. Smiles of a Summer Night, The Seventh Seal, Wild Strawberries, and The Virgin Spring, the DVD releases. Now this is an interesting box because as you can see it has the Wacky C logo but as far as I can remember the DVDs that were released with this box were with the line um, with the line logo so um, yes I'm sorry I, I should have been more prepared with this but uh, that's my recollection when I got this box here's the top and I just have the discs here. These come out. This is for filler. But anyway, here we go. Ingmar Bergman. Here is the box for Yojimbo Sanjiro. This is the Blu ray edition here and here. And here is the top and the bottom which means that the discs come out from the side. And these are the Blu-rays, as I say. Sorry about that. I also have this, by the way, in a DVD set. Again, I don't usually collect both Blu-ray and DVD if the covers are the same, but in this case, I just happen to have the DVD set as well. So it's the same layout except these are DVDs. Next, Grey Gardens and the Beals of Grey Gardens. So this is the box set with Grey Gardens and the Beals of Grey Gardens in two separate DVD releases. Um, Actually, I don't know why I'm including this here in this video because if you look very closely, the box is actually numbered, right? The number that's given here, if you can't make it out, I, I really am apolog I have to apologize for the, the poor focus. I am so sorry. But it says one, two, three, the number one, two, three. And one, two, three is actually the spine number given to the title Grey Gardens. The Beals of Grey Gardens is incidentally number 361. So Grey Gardens is 123. This box is also 123, and it includes Grey Gardens and the Beals of Grey Gardens, uh, the latter being 361. So it's a kind of a peculiar box set. 
Um, I'm not sure if it really qualifies as a non-numbered box set, uh, but I'm just including it here as, a, as sort of additional information. Incidentally, I apologize for not opening this because I have this on the Blu-ray. And so at the moment, for the time being anyway, I, I haven't looked at these particular releases on DVD, but I should, and I will one of these days. Next is, here we go, Andre, Gregory, and Wallace Shawn, three films. This is the Blu-ray box, uh, which had My Dinner with Andre, Vanya on 42nd Street, and A Master Builder. And the top was like so with the bottom. And the discs came out on the side. I just happened to have empty discs here for filler. Next, a Wit Stillman trilogy. This is also a Blu-ray release. This had Metropolitan, Barcelona, and The Last Days of Disco. Um, actually, that's the order in which the films were made, but in fact, the order in which they appear in the Criterion Collection and thus on this box are actually Metropolitan, The Last Days of Disco, and Barcelona. Uh, it's interesting that they make it that order, even though The Last Days of Disco and Barcelona uh, were in fact, um, they should be switched because The Last Days of Disco was made in 1998 and Barcelona was made in 1994 can't see. There you go. The order is actually how it appears in the Criterion Collection spine numbered order rather than in the order of release date or year. Okay. Anyway, as I said, the discs come out from the side like so. Here are just some extra cases for filler. Next. Classic Hitchcock this was a Blu-ray uh, release, which included the Blu-rays for um, The Man Who Knew Too Much, uh, The 39 Steps, The Lady Vanishes, and Foreign Correspondent. And the top, unfortunately, there's a bit of damage at the top there. Couldn't be helped. And the bottom. And I just have some extra discs here for filler, as it were. But there you go, the discs come out like so. Next, the rock box. So this was the box that included A Hard Day's Night, Monterey Pop, Give Me Shelter, and Quadrophenia. There's the top and the bottom. And the discs come out the side like this. Next, uh, Trilogia de Guillermo del Toro. This is the DVD release of the three films by Guillermo del, to del Toro: Chronos, uh, The Devil's Black, The Devil's Backbone, and Pan's Labyrinth. Now. I apologize because, as you can see, this has not been broken out of its plastic wrapping, and I really apologize for that. I will break it out one of these days, but I have these on Blu-ray, so for the time being I don't need to examine these films in this particular DVD release, but one day I will. There we go. It was also released in this really interesting Blu-ray box. with the top here and the side and the bottom. And it just opens like this to reveal this here. And it opens up one flap like so, and then the other flap, which includes Kronos disc. And I have to be careful here. The next flap, here, which includes Devil's Backbone, and the final flap, which folds out like so. There 
go. Oops. Which includes Pan's Labyrinth. I apologize for my poor presentation skills here. And then in the middle, you have the book, which is a very interesting collection. Very interesting indeed. Next is America Lost and Found, the BBS Story box. This is the Blu-ray box set. And the top indicates that design, very interesting, with the bottom having the ratings information and barcode. So therefore the discs come out on the side like this. This is very interesting. So you have head, an easy rider, five easy pieces. Drive, he said, and a safe place. The last picture show. The King of Marvin Gardens. With a book. So I should say, to be clear, the box itself is not numbered, but the discs that the box houses are numbered. So the discs that I just showed you are actually numbered. I apologize for the lack of clarity, but hopefully you can make out the numbers that appear on the bottom of the spines, whereas there is no number at the bottom of the thick spine of the box. So the the discs themselves are numbered, but the box itself is not numbered. Incidentally, I also have the separate releases, Easy Rider and Five Easy Pieces. I really should open these, but as I have the box, I have not yet opened the separate releases, but I will one day. Next, 10 years of Rialto Pictures. So this has 10 films in it. Um, Army of Shadows, O Hazard Balthazar, Band of Outsiders, Billy Liar, The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, uh, I'm sorry, The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, excuse me, Mafioso, Murderous Maids, Rafifi, The Third Man, and Touche Pas O Grisby. Now, you see that it is not opened. And the reason why it is not opened is because I have all these films elsewhere because all but one have been released on a separate Criterion Collection disc. The one that hasn't been released is the film Murderous Maids, which I actually have seen um, on a number of occasions on a separate disc. And it's a very interesting film. Um, and also, this is OOP, and it's actually a very, it's a pretty expensive OOP item as far as Criterion Collection OOP items are concerned, at least from what I can tell on eBay. So that's why up to now I haven't broken it out of the, the plastic. However, I think it's only fair that I, I open it because I'm never going to sell it, and I think I owe it to you to... Um, to do so because I want to show you as much as I can. I have to apologize because I've not I've showed you some items that I haven't opened out from the plastic in previous videos and in this video. Um, but I think I've had legitimate reasons for not doing so for those titles. However, I don't think I have a legitimate enough reason to do so with this. So if you don't mind, I will open this right now. Please, I have to apologize because I really don't like to to do um, opening videos on YouTube and that's not usually my style but I hope you can understand that this is a little bit of a special occasion because this is a very rare item anyway let me just open it right now as you can see the plastic is now being 
removed. There you go. So with the removal of the plastic, we can now see, yes, the 10 discs. So let me just show them to you very quickly. Touche pa o grisby. The third man. Refifi. Murderous maids. Again, this is the one that hasn't been released on a separate Criterion disc. So here we go. Murderous maids. Mafioso. The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, Billy Liar, Band of Outsiders, O Hazard Balthazar, Army of Shadows. So these are DVDs that are in this 10 years of Rialto box set. Next, the Essential Art House releases. So this is volume one, which has Beauty and the Beast, Grand Illusion, Knife in the Water, Lord of the Flies, Rashomon, Wild Strawberries. These are all DVDs with the top here and the bottom with the DVDs coming out like so. This is volume two, which has Black Orpheus, F The 400 Blows, Ikiru, The Life and Death of Colonel Blimp, Pygmalion, and La Strada. And discs come out like so. I apologize for the glare. Volume 3. So this has Ashes and Diamonds, Forbidden Games, The Hidden Fortress, Last Holiday, which is not a, a separate release on the Criterion, Richard III, and Variety Lights. This is the one that's not currently released separately. Next, Essential Art House Volume 4. This has Gervais, which is not released separately. Le Jour Se Lève, which is also not released separately, and Merling, which is also not released separately. And then it also has The Tales of Hoffman, The 39 Steps, and Throne of Blood. There you are. And so if we take this out, we can see, so, I'm sorry, Throne of Blood is first, I apologize. Shouldn't be in this order, but I apologize for my lack of organization. 39 Steps and the Tales of Hoffman. And then you have these titles which are not currently released elsewhere. Uh, Mayerling, Le Jour Se Lève, and Gervais. Essential Art House, Volume 5, 
Now this has Brief Encounter, Eight and a Half, Floating Weeds, Jewels and Jim, Capo, which is not a separate release, and Loves of a Blonde. Now you'll notice that this box is a little bit um, stained. It looks like I actually bought this new, but I didn't realize until I opened it much later that there was some, some like, looks like someone poured coffee over it, which is a real travesty. The discs are fine, surprisingly enough, but I'm really disappointed in this, in this kind of, see that there's some coffee stains, I think. <sighs> anyway, I have to buy the box again, I think. But anyway, here's Loves of a Blonde. Capo. Here we go. Jules and Jim, Floating Weeds, Eight and a Half, Brief Encounter. Okay. Here we go. This is the Essential Art House 50 Years of Janus Films in this huge book. It's more like a photo album. Um, let's see. So it has, first of all, this, oh, I'm sorry. I should have shown you the, everything slides out like this out of this box. And then you've got inside the hardcover book, which is a really nice sort of coffee table style book about the films, etc. And then you have the discs, which are housed like so got that see you've got the, the sort of uh, uh, a chapter information here and you've got the discs housed like here these are DVDs by the way there we go so I should show you that here we've got Alexander Nevsky Ashes and Diamonds La Ventura and Ballad of a Soldier next Beauty and the Beast Black Orpheus, Brief Encounter, The Fallen Idol. Fires on the Plain, Fists in the Pocket, Floating Weeds, Forbidden Games. The 400 Blows, Grand Illusion, Haksan, Ikiru. The Importance of Being Earnest, Ivan the Terrible Part 2, Le Jour Se Lève, Jules and Jim. Kind Hearts and Coronets, Knife in the Water, The Lady Vanishes, The Life and Death of Colonel Blimp. Loves of a Blonde, M, Monsieur Hulot's Holiday, and Miss Julie. Pandora's Box, Pepe Lamoco, Il Posto, Pygmalion. Rashomon, Richard III, The Rules of the Game, Seven Samurai. The Seventh Seal, The Spirit of the Beehive, La Strada, Summertime. The Third Man, The Thirty-Nine Steps, Ugetsu, Umberto D. The Virgin Spring, uh, Viridiana, The Wages of Fear, The White Sheik. Wild Strawberries, and Three Documentaries, Paul Robeson, Tribute to an Artist, the Love Goddesses, and The Great Chase. And then you have licensor information here. Ah. Then we have 25 films by Akira Kurosawa. Now it comes in this huge shoebox of a case. And the bottom is like this. As you can see, mine has been a little bit dirtied due to it being moved around quite a bit since I purchased it. But the top comes off, oops, like so. And I actually kept the original outer label. It comes with a nice hardcover book, which sets forth, among other things, information about each film. And then these are the DVDs, so they come like so. Sanchiro Sugata.
the most beautiful. Sanshiro Sugata Part 2 The Men Who Tread on the Tiger's Tail No Regrets for Our Youth One Wonderful Sunday Drunken Angel Stray Dog Scandal Rashomon The Idiot Ikiru Seven Samurai I Live in Fear Throne of Blood The Lower Depths The Hidden Fortress The Bad Sleep Well Yojimbo Sanjiro High and Low Red Beard Dodeskaden Kagemusha and Madadayo Next, I've removed them from the back of my shelf uh, these are not box sets, but these are the Merchant Ivory Criterion Collection releases. So let me just show them to you right now. Savages. Jane Austen in Manhattan. Bombay Talkie The Householder In Custody The Ballad of the Sad Cafe The Perfect Murder The Europeans Sorry about that. Roseland The Deceivers The Bostonians Heat and Dust Shakespeare Walla The Courtesans of Bombay Quartet Hollywood
hullabaloo over Georgie and Bonnie's pictures. Maurice, I'm sorry, not Maurice, Morris, excuse me, Morris. Oh, this is, this is my sealed copy. Oh, uh, yes, here it is, here it is again. This is the unsealed copy, so it reveals. There we go. And Howard's End. Next is the three children's classics. So first is the red balloon. The booklet was folded when I bought it, which was really not such a good thing. Paddle to the sea. White mane. Next, here is the double disc, the red balloon and white mane. And I just wanted to ask if anyone else out there knows, apparently there's some sources online which indicate that these films were also released in a box set by Criterion. The box set title being Three Children's Classics or Three Children's Classics from Janus or Three Children's Classics by Janus or some kind of combination of those words. I have never been able to confirm the existence of such a box, um, but if anyone out there knows of the existence of that box set, and if you have it, please, I'd love to know that information. Um, again, I've never been able to confirm that. Uh, but if it does exist, please let me know, and I'd love to talk more about you about that particular box um, if you have that information. Anyway, thank you. Um, I think, yes, I think that's it. Please forgive me if I have made any omissions. Uh, if you think I have, please let me know, and I'd be glad to make a correction or make an additional video accordingly. Again, I'm really sorry for the length of the videos. Um, I'm really thankful for your patience and I thank you so much for tuning in and watching, even if it's just for a quick moment or so. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, please feel free at any time to write a comment below or to reach me on Facebook. You can find me under my name, Daisuke Beppu, and you can PM me or whatever. Um, I'm usually in the Criterion themed Facebook groups. Um, I'm also in the Laserdisc Forever group, so if you wanted to reach me, you can do so there. Again, I really love the Criterion collection. I really love the films there, and it's a real wonderful resource to, um, uh, for anyone who's into film, anyone who's just starting out in film, and anyone who's a real expert in film. If you have any questions or if you have any recommendations for me uh, for any films, Criterion or otherwise, please let me know. I'd so love to hear your recommendations uh, it makes my viewpoint, my worldview, all the more broader and better for it. So uh, the more recommendations you have for me, the more I would, um, the more grateful I would be. And yes, I think that's it. So thank you very much, and I hope you all are happy and healthy. Please take care, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Cheers. <laughs>